welcome to jQuery video series and this is video number triple one and today we are going to look at the attribute function in jQuery so before I begin I assume that you might be having a jQuery file into your project and you have also added the reference of that into your head section and after that you have written some basic JavaScript code in order to execute our jQuery instruction and now it's uh, let's look at the markup what I have here is pretty simple I got one h2 I got four paragraphs and two buttons one for get and one for set all right so now let's have a look at the paragraph having a class red class red means I'm having a border of 5px and the color is red same goes with the green 5px border and green color border so let's run this thing and test it out in browser so this is the attribute we are looking at So like I mentioned, the red border, the green border, and pretty cool. Apart from this, uh, let's open the Firebug as well because we will need that. All right, now let's fall back to markup. And you can see over here, I have two attributes attached to, you know, the paragraph. One is title and one is tab index. Okay, so now we are going to use the attribute function, right? So what the attribute function does, uh, what it does is uh, if you look at the title you know as an attribute and it has you know red alert so I have a title as an attribute the value is red alert so if I do get I get the value as red alert right here and if I do set so now watch this this part should get updated so it is get updated and it's telling us to use this and now if I hover on this then I will I can see I was just testing this case and if I do get I can see the answer and you can also see the value changes here I'm sorry not here here and this was changed before so now let's see how can we do that in code so it's pretty simple like I discussed we have get and set button so we are instructing jQuery that this is get and this is set and we are telling jQuery when anybody clicks on get function you first go and find the element and as usual we are interested in the last element which is right here so that's why P of last and we are going to use the attribute function and it's you know the attribute which is a title here so once I do that this function retrieve its value which is I believe a red alert all right and that value gets stored into the variable R and then we are replacing it with the paragraph who has a red class with its text so now you can see the paragraph is red I mean the class is red and the content is this but the content is going to get replaced by the title value All right so that's what uh, is happening and that's what we saw right here so let me refresh and back to normal and do the red alert so we are getting the red alert and you can see the title is still red alert now it's time for a set all right so in set uh, you can see what I'm doing is I'm first capturing the element as usual and this is right here paragraph 4 and I'm setting its attribute and its value so I'm first I need to set a property I mean it's uh, attribute name which is title right here and then its value what it should be so that is the reason why when I uh, you look at the red alert here and once I click on here I'm actually changing the attributes value all right and the same thing I can see over here all right so you're getting the set and get is pretty easy but you might say well this is the same thing I did with the prop function which is correct so if I do this and if I do this control kitty and if I save this and again if I run this thing let me refresh and let me do the get first okay I'm having the same effect let me do the set okay also it does uh, the value is changed here and if I do get again so you might you might say all right you need to hold down here I am getting the same result using the prop and using the ATTR as well why is that what's going on and what's the difference between that well I already told you that's a homework for you but again I'm going to show you one difference and uh, it's kind of a power all right uh, but it doesn't say it doesn't say that you know that uh, 
attribute function is cool or property function is pretty cool it depends like when to use it so uh, like I said this is the property we are looking at right so I'm gonna change this attribute value to title X and the moment I do that it will start shouting that this is not even one second let me do the control KD alright so the HTML parser will start shouting that title X is not a valid property and I'm doubting why uh, now it is showing it's not a valid attribute it is telling us right and I know that I need to change here so first I'm trying to get the value of you know title X property you know and let's see what do we get so let me do the refresh and you can see the title X is an attribute and a red alert is a value and now let's get so we get updated value right here but unfortunately nothing is working why and now let's go back and change this thing to ATTR alright and ATTR control V and this is going to be a title X right because we just changed and now let's do the pure refresh so this is our basic code and you're looking at red alert and this is title X now let's do get and see if it works well indeed it worked didn't it so basically you understand when I try to do the same thing using the prop function it did not work but when I use the ATTR and I use the you know the attribute which actually does not exist and you can see you know the the parser is shouting that this is an invalid attribute but still it works so you're getting me right so the prop actually works on the pure things which actually has the reason once it gets rendered onto the HTML the title X is not a valid property it does not even exist right but it works for uh, you know the ATTR function so that is one of the difference now again um, uh, there are cases where you find the prop is quite useful now as a homework I want you to check out the difference between ATTR function and the prop function when you are dealing with checkbox and as a bonus you also gonna see you know the a function is also involved in this so you know you will once you you know get through that you will understand my point you know when to use the attribute function and when to use the prop function right so I hope uh, it works and in case if any problem if you guys run into any problem then please comment below and let me know I will come back sure for sure and I help you out on this all right so once again uh, thank you for your time on this and thank you for listening to me we are then with ADTR and now we're gonna work with the remove ATTR in the next video so I hope to see you there